Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today we are going to be running a stage that I've honestly been really looking forward to, mainly because I can't remember the last time I ran an Earthlings category team. You know, like, maybe I did it once when LR Krillin first came out, but that might have been the only time. So this should definitely be an interesting run just because I never use this team. Anyways, with that said, let's jump into the Earthlings only stage of Super Battle Road, stage 45. And let's see if we can find some good Krillins here. Ooh, okay, so we got three Rainbow Krillins. The first one is not the greatest. The second one is uh, also pretty bad, okay. And the last one is slightly better that's decent okay so i'll take this one and there's the team guys we got the double lr krillins lr master roshi biz launch str chi chi tech roshi and tien and the last guy might come as a bit of a surprise to those of you that don't know what he does but you'll find out soon so i won't say too much what i will say right now is that he might end up being the mvp of this team okay so there you go, that's the team, the items are the same as always, and uh, yeah, let's do this. Okay, so first rotation, pretty good, we got the Roshi and the Krillin together, and launch is there as well. I think for my ideal rotations on this team though, I want to do launch and Chi Chi, and then probably Roshi and Roshi and Tien, but this is fine. So. Defense-wise, uh, very solid, 152k for the Roshi is awesome, 126k for the Krillin, and then 103k for launch. But I'm probably gonna still pop an item first, let's do... Let's do an Icarus, because I don't know exactly how hard Popo and Kami are gonna hit, so just to be safe, let's use the item. Uh, we're gonna go for Popo, obviously, with the Roshi, that's gonna be... A nice 18 key super. Uh, I want to actually get a 12 key with the Krillin, but I don't think that's possible. So let's just give him these and uh, hopefully launch and finish off Mr. Popo. Okay, so a dodge there. Back to back dodges. Damn, okay. So good start for Roshi. And we sealed Popo too, and the additional. Man, what can I say about Master Roshi, man? He's a beast. Wait. Did he just finish off Popo by himself? I think he did. <laughs> I think he did, damn. Okay, so we're off to a really, really good start. A really good start. Um, now, I think launch and seal enemies, but only if you have another Peppy Gals on rotation, which is why I brought the Chi Chi. So we want to get those two together as soon as we can. And uh, on this rotation, we have Chi Chi, Roshi, and Tien, and also NVP Chiaotzu. Now, I'm probably gonna do, let me think. Let's put, let's put him here so he comes back more frequently. Um, and you might be thinking, yo, what are you doing? Why are you putting Chao Tu there? He's gonna get destroyed by a super. But no, we're fine. Because thanks to Chao Tzu, the Kami is actually stunned. So we're good to go. And let's see. Um, I guess I'll... You know what? Let's get a super for Chao Tzu just out of respect. <laughs> and you guys will see just how much of a monster this guy is. Here we go. 76,307. And we did almost 12,000 damage right there. What a monster. <laughs> okay, so obviously you're not using Chao Tzu as a damage dealer, right? He's really only here to stun the enemies. And he's awesome because the first time he appears on a rotation, he guarantees to stun the entire enemy field or the entire enemy team. So don't have to worry about the turn that he first appears, which is which is great. 
Uh, let me see here. So some really good defense all around. I don't think I really need to use anything here. So let's just put the friend Krillin in the front because he does have better defense from that first super. And uh, that's going to be... You know what? I'm going to save the STR orbs for Roshi. There we go. And uh, we should be able to move on to the next phase after this rotation. Yeah, great tanking. Okay, so I guess as long as we have over 150k defense, uh, we don't really have to worry about using an item, especially if the enemy is sealed, right? Look at that. Great tanking. Okay, so what I was thinking coming into this stage is that because the Earthlings category is relatively weaker compared to um, some of the other categories, right, like uh, Revenge and so on and so forth, that they probably would have made this stage a little bit easier just to compensate for that. And unless I've been getting really lucky, which is possible, uh, so far it's kind of worked out that way. You know, so far, like, it's been decently chill, especially when you have this guy. Especially when we have MVP Chaozu on our team. I mean, look at this. Both Kai's are, are stunned right now, so we don't have to worry about any attacks this turn. And uh, let's just go off on Supreme Kai here. We're going to try to do as much damage to him as we possibly can. Oh, I messed up. Ah, damn it, I messed up. Okay, so what I should have done is attacked uh, Supreme Kai with Launch, and then attacked Abito with... Uh, Chi Chi, because then we would have stunned or sealed both of them. So that's my mistake. Yeah. That was dumb. Oh, wait a second. Did we not seal? Doesn't launch seal? Unless I missed it. I swear launch can seal. One sec. One second. Uh. Seals enemies or seals the attack enemy super attack when there is another Peppy Gals category ally attacking in the same turn. So yeah, she must have she must have sealed as well. I just didn't see that like seal logo pop up. Doesn't matter. Okay, so on this turn. Uh ooh. Okay. You know what? I wanted to keep Roshi and Tien and the LR Master Roshi together, but I don't really want to put the Roshi and Tien in the middle <laughs> of all those attacks. So just to be safe, we're going to just do the rotation with Krillin and Roshi. We're going to pop the Icarus, and uh, we should be able to finish off Supreme Kai here. And uh, let's seal Kabito with uh, Roshi and Tien. I'm pretty sure they can seal. The problem is, I haven't used a lot of these units in a while, so I don't exactly remember what they can do. I just remember there's a decent number of units on this team right now that can seal. I just don't remember who exactly is the sealer and who exactly can stun, you know? But we'll figure it out soon. We'll figure it out soon. Hopefully before the end of this, uh, before the end of this run. Oh. Oh! Oh, damn. That was pretty painful. Luckily, we did use the Icarus. So, okay, I found out, I just found out that yes, Roshi and Tien can seal, but unfortunately, we sealed him right after he supered us, so it doesn't really make a difference. Uh, let's heal up with Mrs. Snake, and now we should be able to uh, finish off Kabito. Um, let's see. So, I'll just I'll give these. Oh, crap. I should have saved those. That's fine. We still got these for Krillin. There we go. All right. So, no supers this turn. Um, tanking pretty well. Makes sense. With, you know, the Princess Snake plus the... Oh, wait, no. It's just Princess Snake. Because we ran out of the Icarus effect. But still, really good tanking from, um from launch and you know it's just strange to me that like the 
the seal logo is not coming up for her attacks because in theory she should be sealing right now unless I'm making some kind of mistake I don't think I am though I don't think I am though I mean as long as we have another Peppy Gals on the team and Chi Chi is in Peppy Gals last time I checked he should be sealing with her attacks one sec is Chi Chi not in Peppy Gals? He is! She's a Peppy Gals! Okay, so... Then... Launch. Every single attack should be sealing. Seals the attack enemy super attack when there's another Peppy Gals category ally. Attack in the same turn. I don't know. I feel like I'm just like, being dumb. <laughs> Which is very possible. Which is very possible. So I'll worry about that later. Let's just get this... Uh, stage... Out of the way first. But launch definitely has been confusing me throughout this run. Maybe only for the first super it shows the seal. And then for the rest it just doesn't. Maybe for the other attacks they're just like she's already, you know, sealed the enemy so you don't have to see it again. Maybe I just keep missing the first super. That 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 is likely, you know? Okay. I'm gonna pay attention this time. I'm gonna pay attention to this time to see if the seal logo comes up. For the first attack. Uh, we're definitely going to pop the Whis here. And... Ooh, actually, man, that's a lot of attacks in the middle against uh, Chi Chi. So let's do let's do that too. <laughs> I'm going to pop an Aider just to get more defense. That's better. And let's go for... Let's actually go for a Whis. Because he's probably going to be weaker. So we can probably kill him first. And then we'll worry about uh, the other guys. You know, let's... Mm. I mean, Chi Chi's not doing much damage anyway, so I'm going to try to... S oh, wait, no. No, yes. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to seal the Beerus as well. Uh, and then we can attack him with uh, the Tien and Roshi as well. Okay, so I'm going to pay attention. This super should seal Whis. Yes. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so I guess... For the subsequent supers, they just don't show the seal logo, even though they are, in theory, still sealing him. But only the first super shows it. Mystery solved. <laughs> Mystery solved. We're good to go. I don't know why that confused me so much, but, you know, sometimes, uh... Sometimes you just, you just feel stupid. Sometimes you just, uh, feel kind of dumb. Maybe it's because it's Sunday, you know, I was up really late last night. Uh, <laughs> so my brain is not working as well as it could be. I don't really know. The point is, the point is, we've been doing pretty well. And uh, let's see what we can do here. Uh, like I said, I want to finish off the Whis first. So how do we... Hmm, how do we get a 24 or 18 key super rather for Roshi? If I give this to Krillin. Oh, damn. Okay, I messed up. I thought. <laughs> I honestly thought the orbs would drop differently so I could get more tech orbs for Roshi. But it didn't work out exactly like that. So uh, now we're going to have to do the 12 key for Roshi. So we're not going to hit as hard as we could. But that's okay. It's just going to take a little bit longer than it could have, I guess. No, no big deal. And we're not going to be taking damage this turn anyways. Because I believe both guys are going to be sealed. Beerus is definitely sealed. Uh, Roshi, or rather uh, Whis, I think could potentially super. But we'll be fine even if he does. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so he's supering us. But it's gonna do like 100k maybe. Oh, even less, 22k. <laughs> okay, um, so we ran out of Whis. We're gonna pop a Whis again. It's funny, we're using Whis against the Whis. And, uh. Oh! <laughs> Yo, I'm actually being really dumb in this video. I'm actually being really dumb in this video. I, I can't even... I can't even pretend. Like, I did not realize we had this 
this man pop up again the mvp of this team man he uh stunned Beerus and Whis, so we didn't really need to waste that Whis item. Okay. What's done is done. What's done is done. The important thing is, I recognized that I was being dumb. That's the important part. <laughs> I don't know why I keep giving so many orbs to, uh, to the Chiaotzu. Like, maybe it's just because I want to show him the respect I feel like he deserves. You know, I want to show him, like... How much he's appreciated so even though he's gonna do no damage for us i'm still gonna let him super every single time i can so he knows <laughs> that we appreciate his services let's go with that okay on the bright side we still have we still have the weiss active um let's do oh actually we can do this there we go and uh, I will definitely finish off Whis now. And then we can do some nice damage with the Roshi and Tien. And uh, Krillin should do, be doing some good. Oh, token attack, actually. So we can attack both with Roshi. Who currently has 4.2 million attack. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Missed one. All good. It's just that kind of run, guys. It's just been that kind of video today. <laughs> Okay, give me a nice crit, Roshi. Ooh, no crit, but good enough damage. I'll take it. I'll take it. 2.4 mil for the Roshi and Tien. Yeah, after a couple of attacks, or after taking a few attacks, they actually get quite, quite powerful. And this might do it. Ooh, close. Not quite, but close. Now, who do I want to finish things off? Let's let Krillin do the honors. I'm gonna let Krillin finish it out for us. And uh, that will conclude this very strange run, this very strange video. I mean, like I said, guys, I haven't used this team in forever. So I'm gonna use that as my excuse for all the stupid mistakes that I've made throughout. Uh, ooh, wow. Yo, that could have been kind of bad. I could have, I, I was fully expecting Krillin to finish him off, and he didn't. So, imagine if Beerus had supered us, if he wasn't sealed, which he might have been, actually. Um, we could have taken a lot of damage. That, that could have been rough. But, at the end of the day, we got it done, and as expected, Chao Tzu put in a lot of good work for us, so I'm going to leave off with this man, the MVP on the screen. If you guys don't have him, he's actually a very common SR available from every single banner. Um, you just got to make sure to not baba him when you get him. So this SR Chao Tzu, the Int SR Chao Tzu, and the uh, Tech Chaco as well is very useful. They both have the same effect, but this guy is in Earthlings, so if you guys are having trouble with the Earthlings stage, then try him out. I think he will definitely uh, help a lot. Just keep in mind that the second time he comes around in a stage, like in the same fight, he's not gonna have the same effect, okay? So the first time, he stuns everybody. The second time, he's useless. So you gotta be careful with where you place him if he's still around uh, after the first stun, okay? But there you go, guys. That is the Earthling stage. That's, uh, if I remember correctly, five down, five to go. I'm going to go take a nap or just like take a break or something to let my brain reset so that for the next run, we don't make as many stupid mistakes. And uh, there you go, guys. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out